Welcome to Word Practice 5. First, start Word and open the file Starter Word Practice 5 from your Data Files folder on your flash drive. Save the document as your last name, underscore your first name, underscore Word, underscore practice, underscore 5 in your Word folder. Select all of the text in the document. A shortcut key to select all of the text in a document is Control A. For the entire document, change the line spacing to 1.5 and the spacing after to 0 points. Create a blank paragraph at the top of the document. After placing the insertion point in the blank paragraph, type the following, pressing enter at the end of each line except the last. Center the text in the last typed line, technology and your health. On the insert tab, header, footer, group, select header and then edit header. In the header on the first page, type Sophia and then spacebar. On the header and footer toolbar, design tab, in the header and footer group, choose page number. Add a simple plain number, page number, in current position and right align the header. Select all of the text beginning with the idea to the end of the document. With the text selected, on the Home tab, Paragraph Group, click the arrow next to the Line and Paragraph Spacing icon and choose Line Spacing Options. Under Indentation, apply the first line indent. Confirm that the box is set for 0 0.5 and click OK. Deselect the text and notice how the first line of every paragraph is indented by half an inch. On the Insert tab, Header and Footer group, edit the footer. Use Document Info to add the file name to the footer. Double click in the white space in the document to exit from the footer view. In the paragraph that begins with Self Quantifying, position the cursor in the second line of the paragraph to the right of the period after self trackers on page two on the references tab footnotes group choose insert footnote notice how the insertion point moves to the bottom of the page and a one is inserted to add the footnote type the following a footnote indicator was automatically added to self trackers. Select the entire text of the footnote at the bottom of the page, including the one. Right click within the gray highlighted area and choose style. Choose modify to modify the current style. Modify the style of the footnote at the bottom of page two, changing the font size to nine. On the bottom left side under format, choose paragraph and set the first line indentation to 0 0.05. Select double line spacing. To apply your changes and back out of these screens, click OK, OK, and apply. On the references tab, in the citations and bibliography group, in the style window, Select Set the Bibliography Style to MLA 7th Edition. Position the insertion point to the right of the period at the end of the paragraph that begins To See How on page 2. To add a citation, go to the References tab, Citations and Bibliography group, and choose Insert Citation. Add a new source and add the following book citation.
Click OK to add the citation. Notice how in-text citation automatically populated at the end of the paragraph. Select the in-text citation and then right-click and choose Edit Citation. Edit the citation by typing 4 in the Pages box. Type a period to the right of the citation and delete the period to the left of the citation. On page 2, at the end of the paragraph that begins, he found that drinking Position the insertion point after the letter E in ignore and to the left of the period and add the following book citation. Edit the citation by typing 25 in the pages box. Note. If you make a mistake when adding the citation and need to edit it, you can. On the References tab, in the Citations and Bibliography group, click Manage Sources. In the Source Manager dialog box, highlight the source and click Edit. At the end of the paragraph that begins many of the 250, position the insertion point after the letter E in Balance and to the left of the period and add the following website citation. At the end of the document, insert a manual page break. On the Layout tab, Page Setup Group, choose Page Breaks Page. On the new blank page, set the paragraph's indentation to None. On the References tab, Citations and Bibliography group, choose the arrow next to Bibliography and select the text Insert Bibliography. Above the first line of the bibliography, you may need to hit Enter to create space for the title, type Bibliography. Select the title Bibliography, change the font to Arial Black, the font size to 14, the font color to Black, Text 1, and then center the text. Select the three references but not the blank paragraph and change the paragraph line spacing to 2.0 and the spacing before and after to 0 points. Select OK. On the References tab, in the Citations and Bibliography group, select Manage Sources to launch the Source Manager. Using the Source Manager, click on Edit in the Master List. Change the H in Henderson to B. Click Yes to any messages that populate. Then click OK and Close. Select the three sources under Bibliography. Right-click in the gray box and choose Update Field. Notice this updates the citations and bibliography to reflect this change. In Backstage View, add the following document properties. Select Quantified Self on page 1, fourth paragraph, and click Smart Lookup. Choose one or two sites to view, and then close the Smart Lookup pane. Move to the top of the document and display the document in Read Mode by going to the View tab. In the View group, choose Read Mode. Click Tools in the upper left corner. Click Find. In the search box, type Benderson. Notice how the results display in the navigation pane and are also highlighted in the text of the document. Click View in the upper left-hand corner. Click Edit Document to return to Print Layout View. 
close the navigation pane if necessary. Take a moment to save your file and ensure you know the location where it is stored. Most likely, this is in your Word folder on your flash drive. In Backstage View, select Save As Adobe PDF and then Save. Your file location should default to the same location. If not, make note of where your file is being saved. It may take a few minutes to convert your document to a PDF. View your file once it is converted and then close it. Using Windows Explorer, open a new folder and navigate to where your PDF is saved. Do not open your file. Instead, right click on the file icon, choose Open With, Word, the PDF file will start to convert back to Word. Click OK. Take note of any changes that may have occurred during the file conversion process. Submit the file for grading per your instructor's instructions. Be sure to submit your Word document, not the PDF file. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.